Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of expressions and how we can find whether two expressions are equivalent. We will do it in 5 minutes or less. So let's make sure we understand our term here. First we have this word expression. An expression, member represents a single value. It is not an equation. An expression does not have an equal sign. So think of an expression not having an equal sign. And this is an expression right here, and this is an expression right here. Even though it might include multiple operations, it can be simplified down to a single value. So let's see whether these two expressions are equivalent or equal. So in order to do this, we're going to need to remember our PEMDAS, our order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And remember, when we're dealing with order of operations, multiplication and division are treated as equal because they are inverse operations, as are addition and subtraction. So let's start over here on the left. We have 4 squared minus 3 parentheses, 15 divided by 3, close parentheses. Well, we start with our parentheses first. So I'm going to rewrite this here, 4 squared minus 3, and I'm going to resolve this 15 divided by 3. So that's just going to be 5. Next, we're going to look at this exponent. Even though we still have a parentheses, 3 parentheses 5, that really is just going to signify multiplication. So let's deal with this exponent next. 4 squared. And so 4 squared is going to make 16, because that's 4 times 4. Minus 3, I'm going to just rewrite this as times 5. So now we have multiplication and division, so we're going to look at this 3 times 5. So it's 16 minus 3 times 5 resolves to 15, so really it's 16 minus 15, which simplifies to 1. So this entire convoluted expression simplified down to a single value of 1, and that's what expressions do. They simplify down to a single value. Now let's look at this over here, 1 to the 4th. Well, 1 to the 4th simply means 1 times itself 4 times. So 1 times 1 times 1 times 1. Well, it doesn't matter how many times you multiply 1 by itself it's always going to be equal 1. So you can say that these two are equivalent expressions, and if you put an equal sign between the two, you could then make an equation, because both sides of this equation are balanced because you have equivalent expressions. Let's see what happens when we look at expressions that include a variable. So here we have two large expressions. They each have an unknown x, so we need to see whether or not they are equivalent. So using our order of operations again, we're going to still start with our parentheses. We have 4 parentheses x minus 2. We're going to use our distributive property and multiply 4 by both of these. So 4 is going to be times x, and then 4 times minus 2 is going to give us a minus 8. And then we have a 10. Parentheses 3 squared. Well, 3 squared is an exponent. Let's go ahead and take care of that. That's just going to be 9. So now we need to get rid of this parentheses here, which really just represents multiplication. So when you have a number right next to parentheses, that means multiplication. So 10 times 9, that's going to be 90. So all we have left here is 4x minus 8 plus 90. So let's take care of this right here. Minus 8 plus 90. And you see that we are going to simplify down to 4x plus 82. If we wanted to, we could factor out uh, a 2 and we can make it a little bit simpler. But let's just see what we have over here on the left side. So we have parentheses that we need to take care of here. And let's go ahead and simplify both of these parentheses. So we have a minus 2. 3 minus 44 is going to give us negative 41. Plus, and we have a 10 minus 7, so that's just going to be 3x. Well, we have negative 2 parentheses, negative 41. So that's just going to multiply to negative times negative makes positive. So that's going to be 82. Looking good so far. We have a positive 82 here. And we have a plus 3x. So if we rearrange it, we end up having 3x plus 82. And you see that we are close, but these expressions are not equivalent because this is 3x and this is 4x. So we can say they are not equivalent.